combining two of my favourite things, which is homeware and Christmas. Christmas homewares. I think these are possibly some of my favourite videos to watch, so I'm gonna get right into it. Where do I start? Okay, so Christmas bedding. I don't think it will come as much surprise to you that I basically bought everything in Asda that was Christmassy that I could put on my bed. So we have this one, which is um, a woodland, winter woodland it says, and it's cream and red, and that's just beautiful, 14 pounds. I also have this one, which is, ow, <laughs> heavy and sharp. I also have this one, which is so cute. It has like children on sledges, a girl doing a snowman, this one's ice skating, and um, underneath it's like spotty, so when you pull back the covers it's red and white um, polka dots. And I think that's so flipping cute. And then this one which is essentially Alfie's nightmare. He hates flannel bed sheets because he gets too hard. I think he needs to stop whining. Um, but these are like so Christmassy. So these are red and green and navy tartan. Like these are so festive. I'm really excited to have these on the bed. They were 19, so these are 100% brushed cotton. Very soft. If you've never felt brushed cotton bed sheets, you're missing out. I also got this as well, pillowcases. Brushed cotton pillowcases. These ones are a little bit more like, not as in your face, I suppose. They're really, really pretty. Sticking with bedding, kind of, cushions. Now, there's quite a few cute festive cushions around at the Mo. This one is also from Asda. I think this is my favourite one. And it's this little square one, and it has tiny little navy trees that, oh, like this pattern, but like small. And it says, baby, it's cold outside, in a really beautiful, like, gold handwritten font and I love it. It's quite a small square one, but that was only five pounds and it's so cute, I love it. I also got this one from, where was this one from? I wanna say M&S. Yes, Marks and Spencer. This was like almost 20, oh my God. Nala, jeez. This was 19 pound 50, so this one was a little bit more pricey, but it lights up, look. It says, let it snow. Oh my God, I love it. I mean, I think it might be slightly annoying having to unzip it every time you wanna turn it on or turn it off again. But I think ultimately that's quite a cool cushion. Another cushion is this one. I actually got this from a garden center called Haskins and this was 20 pounds and it's a snowball cushion in gray. I thought this one would go quite nicely with this one. <gasps> yeah, this just looks like little snowballs, but it's pom-poms. And actually, I think this could work any time of the year, really. But it does work quite nicely because it's Christmas. This next one is a bit bigger, and it was a little bit more pricey, although I don't actually know how much it was. Let me take it out of the plastic. This is from Bowden, and uh, who, by the way, have like some of the cutest jumpers and basically just some of the nicest Christmas stuff. And it says, all is calm on one side and all is bright on the other. And I did actually buy two to go on our bed. So one side can say all is calm and then the other one can say all is bright. Obviously, as always, the shop that does Christmas so very well is HomeSense. Now, HomeSense have some great things. What are you eating out of my bag? No, don't eat my festive homeware. And I got these tea towels. And it says, tis the season to be jolly, tra la 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 And this side has uh, some mistletoe, and I just thought they were really lovely. Also from Home Sense, I think I'm gonna sneeze, maybe not. I picked up this. This is a Christmas garland, but it's like pom-poms in cream and red, and I just really liked that. I thought that that would look quite nice hung up somewhere, or maybe like intertwined in a, um, not a wreath, like a garland, like a, no. I thought that would look quite nice, or just wrapped around like the banister on the stairs. Oh, this was also from Home Sense. This is a garland, a six foot holiday garland, um, which says Merry Christmas, and it's in like metallic copper letters. 
so it's actually quite heavy but I just thought that was so lovely think how nice that will look on the fireplace and it's copper you can't go wrong with a bit of copper oh I thought these were interesting however I don't remember where I got them from maybe Oliver bonus oh, I don't remember but these are star table lights so essentially they are battery lights and you can put them on your dining room table whether that's during a Christmas dinner or you have people over for a meal I just think it adds like an extra something and these are on like a little wire so you can kind of mold them or like twist them around candle holders I don't know I just thought they were really nice and quite festive it's the little things I think that make all the difference moving on from home scents every year next have a scent called festive spice which smells so good I actually have a room diffuser in here already which is making this whole room smell like Christmas which just makes me very excited and also it's what this room smelled like last year so it's very nostalgic but they have this which is a huge whopper of a candle with that scent uh, last year I think I bought a three wick but it was kind of lower and like more round this is like your average candle like times 20 it's huge Oh, but it smells incredible. I absolutely love it. If any of you have a next near you, you need to check this out. Go and smell it, basically. I thought this was worth mentioning. This is a wreath hanger. Now, for a really long time, I thought I can't hang a wreath on my door because I need to knock a nail in and I need to tie a rope around the wreath and it all sounds a little bit fiddly and I'm definitely going to cause damage to my front door if I have to bang a nail into it. <laughs> and also, most of my front door is glass, so that's just never gonna work. But then I discovered these exist, and this hangs on your door one way, and then you hang your wreath on the other end. So you can essentially hang a wreath anywhere without causing any destruction or losing a finger. And I think that that's great. So even if your parents don't have a wreath on their front door, or I don't know, you're not allowed one because you're at uni, get one of these and then you can put a wreath on your bedroom door or I don't know on every door in your house which I'm not actually gonna do but I'm quite tempted not gonna lie easy wreath hanging um, and you can get these from pretty much anywhere this one was from a garden center it's quite cute it's got a wooden Christmas tree on it but you can get plain ones from John Lewis Mwah! oh I love you do you love me do you love me? Next up, I went to Hobbycraft. Hobbycraft is amazing at Christmas if you like to get a bit more DIY and crafty with your decorations. Ugh. Now I have a tiny little four foot Christmas tree up in my upstairs office, which is kind of just where I do my makeup and chill and sometimes film. And I wanted to make it the most out there and garish Christmas tree ever. So I found these baubles in home sense that are just amazing like they are really brightly colored baubles tiny little glass brightly colored baubles and this was my main inspiration i think i might just call it like the most colorful christmas tree you've ever seen because i bought these which i love um and then in hobbycraft i bought these pom-pom garlands to wrap around the christmas tree it's going to look a flipping mess but I'm quite excited about it maybe I should put colored lights on it as well and literally just go all out with color on the Christmas tree I'll call it the rainbow tree when I was doing my food shop on Ocado uh, they had these now these are I don't know where I'm gonna put these because they don't really go with anything but these were such a massive throwback for me me and Joe used to have these and we used to decorate the Christmas tree with these when we were really, really little. They're tiny little like wooden Santas and like trains and little angels and they're just amazing. So I couldn't not get them because I was like, oh my God, all the memories, the most amazing. These are by um, Gisela Graham, Gisela Graham. Uh, but yeah, I'm just wondering whether any of you guys have put these on a Christmas tree at some point in your life. I feel like most people may have because I showed them to Mark and he was instantly like, oh my God, I had those. And now I have them again and I'm really happy about it, but I don't know where I'm gonna put them. Lastly, now I'm not sure where I'm going. Oh no, I nearly broke it. 
Bloody hell. For my big main Christmas tree, I didn't really know what theme I was gonna go for this year, but the White Company have some amazing decorations. So here we have a like China bell that actually like makes a noise. So I've got a few of these. I think I'm gonna go like white and silver, mm, which I've never done before. I'm having this conversation with you like you're all as enthusiastic about decorating your trees as I am, so I do apologize if you're not. I also got this which says love. Let me get it out of the packaging. And they're done in like silver beads. I just think they'll look really cute on the Christmas tree. So I got those, they were from White Company as well. And then they had lots of these little like ceramic hearts and stars. And again, I thought they'll go really nicely with my white and silver theme. I'd love to know how you are decorating your Christmas tree this year. Do you have a theme? Are there certain things that you can't wait to put out in your home every year? Like do you keep a box? And then when it gets to it, you're like, whip out the Christmas doormat, get the lights out, put the wreath on the door. I don't know, how into it are you? I would love to know. That is everything in my festive home haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up if you did. And I am going to go now because I'm actually sweltering under these lights with this jumper on. So I will see you again tomorrow and I love you very much. Goodbye.